Good morning, welcome back to my channel. So today is going to be a Whip It Up Wednesday crock pot collaboration and it's the last one for the month of November. Um, I've had a lot of fun uh, being included uh, with some of the ladies on YouTube, uh, Linda's Pantry, Sutton's Days, Wilhelm's Kitchen, More to Life, and um, am I forgetting someone? Well, I can't remember, but anyway, so um, what I'm doing today is um, I had some leftover beef stew meat in the freezer. When I did the beef stew um, crock pot collaboration a couple weeks ago, so I thought I would use it up. But I, I went ahead and browned it in my skillet. So it's ready to go. I'm just going to dump it in there. But what I'm also going to do is I'm going to use uh, some of my dehydrated and freeze-dried um foods to add my vegetables and stuff to it so um, this right here is freeze-dried potatoes I have a freeze dryer and I'm gonna have videos coming up on when I freeze dry uh, stuff I have a um, harvest right home freeze dryer and these are potatoes that I did and they're light as air I mean they're they're just really cool and so I thought I would use those up so I'm just gonna dump the whole container in there whole jar so it's gonna be kind of like a soup and then I have these are carrots that I dehydrated in my dehydrator so um, I'm gonna put we'll do half and we'll see because I don't know if I want to use the whole thing or not eh. I think I'm gonna use half I don't want to be on carrot overload okay and then this is some garlic that I had actually uh, purchased from a friend at the farmer's market. She dries her own garlic that she grows in her garden. So I'm going to put some of those in there. I might break them up just a little bit. Because we like garlic and it's so intense, the flavor. Okay, and then these are green onions or scallions that I dehydrated myself not too long ago. So I'm just going to put a couple big spoonfuls, well, maybe three spoonfuls of those in there. Okay, and next is some dehydrated tomatoes that I dehydrated. They were from my garden. And I'm going to put some of those in there too. And I might break them up just a little, but not too much. These, these are like eating candy. They're so good. I think I'm just going to use half Half of the jar. There we go. All right. Bring this up a little bit closer so you can see it. And then I have some zucchini and squash that was from my garden that I dehydrated. So we're going to put maybe half of that in there. It's going to give us a variety. Okay. And then I've got, I'm using this as my broth. It is the Thrive Life Vegetarian Beef Bouillon. And I made four cups, so it's a one teaspoon of the bouillon to one cup of hot water. So I did four teaspoons. And it makes a really, really great broth. And I, if that's not enough, I'll probably have to add more. But because I want to get the. Of course, they'll, once they start getting dehydrated, then it'll be okay. But I might have to add some more water. Let me mix this up. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay. I think I may add some more broth to it. Yeah, I'm going to have to add some more. I'll do that in a minute. I'll put my seasonings in first. So I'm going to do some kosher salt, not very much, and then some of this Thrive Life is the Chef's Choice blend, and I think, I don't know if it tells you on here what's in here, but I don't see, oh there it is, uh, onion, garlic, chili pepper, dextrose, citric acid, sugar, blah blah blah, but anyways it tastes really good, so I'm going to put some of that in there. And then some fresh black pepper. Okay. And 
that's about it. I've got it set on low so far. Um, I'm going to get some more broth ready, ready and I'll bring you right back. Okay, I've made four more cups of broth. I don't know if I'm going to need it all, but I'm going to pour in half of it, and we'll see. Yeah. I think that might be good. And as it cooks, they'll sink down into that liquid. Alrighty then. Okay, and I will bring you back when it's all done, and I think I may make some of those tortellinis, the cheese tortellinis, um, to put in it. So I will, I will bring you back for that if I decide to do that. Okay, welcome back. My beef vegetable soup is all done. Oh my gosh, it is, it just smells so good when I come in from outside. The carrots, the dehydrated carrots that I put in there are tender. The Tomatoes that I had dehydrated from my garden are, are done. I mean, everything just looks beautiful. The meat's all done, so I'm going to dish some up. This dish some up. Oh, my. And there's the zucchini. The potatoes. The freeze-dried potatoes. They cook to down really well. Let's get some broth. Some of those tomato. Oh, there we go. That's a beautiful spoonful right there. Okay. And then I'm going to throw a little bit of shredded Parmesan cheese on there. I'll turn you a little bit so you can see that. Okay, there it is. I'm going to try a bite. Let's get a potato, zucchini, tomato. And it's really hot, so give me just a second here. I'll taste the vegetables first, and then I'll get a piece of meat. I'm gonna blow on it. Mmm. Oh my gosh. I'm telling you, when you use your own like dehydrated stuff or freeze dried stuff, it just tastes so good. And then there's a piece of meat. Mmm. It's nice and tender. Wow. This is a keeper recipe. And the one you just throw together. So, I hope you all enjoyed my video. And I wanted to thank all the ladies on YouTube who did the collaboration. Um, Heather from Needy Homesteader. Linda from Linda's Pantry. Um, Lisa from Sutton's Days. Mandy from More to Life. And Tina from Wilhelm's Kitchen. And everyone else who joined in. I, it was really a lot of fun. And maybe someday we'll do it again. But, um... I thank y'all for watching my video, and if you like it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and look for more videos coming up. I'll catch y'all later. Bye.